Hi everybody, my name is Justin Stoney and I'm the founder of New York Vocal Coaching here in New York City. Welcome to episode 30 of Voice Lessons to the World, the show where we want to help you guys as singers by answering your questions from all over. And I'll give you a chance to ask questions later, but our question for this week comes from Miguel V in Guadalajara, Mexico. And Miguel writes, Dear Justin, I really enjoyed your video on vibrato, but I can't do it. Is vibrato something that just happens, or can you develop it through exercising the voice? Now, Miguel, that is a fantastic question, and it's such a good question, actually, that we're going to start a whole new series on developing vibrato. You know that we already have a series going on how to do riffs. Now we're going to start a series based just on your question on developing vibrato. The first step, though, is reminding ourselves what is vibrato. Now, vibrato is essentially a pitch change, a pitch bend. It doesn't change the pitch enough to change the fundamental note, but you're taking a note and allowing it to move up and down around the center of that pitch. So, in other words, if I take a note without vibrato, it sounds like this, uh, but if I add vibrato to it, uh, I'm still singing, uh, but I'm adding uh, a little pitch bend to the note. Now our ear loves the sound of something around six hertz per second. That's six of those little flips per second. Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, that's kind of what our ear appreciates as far as vibrato. Could be a little faster, could be a little slower, but it's around six. Now I want you to know that you should be able to do straight tone and vibrato. These are both necessary elements of singing. One's not better than the other, but we need both of them. I will say, though, that vibrato could contribute to your vocal freedom. Being able to move uh, the note versus just hold it uh, is actually going to free you up. If you're a little bit tight, you might have trouble doing vibrato, and over time, you might be able to move the pitch that could contribute to your freedom. That being said, it is a myth, Miguel, that vibrato is just something that happens that if I just practice for long enough my voice and my technique one magical day, vibrato just happens for me. I know that's happened for some people in the past, but I don't, I don't want you guys to think that way about it. I want you to think of vibrato as something that you can control, something that you can learn, something that you can develop. Exercises will help, good technique will help, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to add vibrato and how to learn to do vibrato. But again, if it's something that I can turn on and turn off, then clearly it's a developable skill and something that I can incorporate whenever I want and whenever I need. So then, when would I need it? Vibrato is a stylistic element. Like I say, even though it's got a technical function, it can free me up. If I can do, ah, uh, maybe that's freer. But it's really a stylistic element. It's something that you hear in different styles of music. Pop rock and R&B singers a lot of times don't think that they need vibrato in their voices. We've talked in the past why, in fact, you do. Vibrato is used in pop rock, so I want you guys to learn to do vibrato even if you're contemporary singers. But the traditional styles, Broadway, uh, classical, and, and some of the others, definitely do need vibrato. And you're going to see today why just doing this pitch bend this little vibratory pitch bend within singing can add a stylistic element and can also add some emotion to the sound. So today I'm going to take a, a Broadway song. We're going to do uh, All I Ask of You from Phantom of the Opera. And uh, you're just going to see how, as I take vibrato in and out of my voice, how that uh, affects the style and the emotion. So here we go with All I Ask of You. Then say you'll share with me one love, one lifetime. Let me lead you from your solitude. Say you need me with you here beside you. Anywhere you go, let me go too. Christine, that's all I ask of you. So now that was with vibrato. And you can tell that that has a lot of the right kinds of sounds for a Broadway sound, for a, more of a legit Broadway sound, but it sounds uh, like the right emotion and style for the piece with vibrato. What if I start taking it out? Then say you'll share with me one love, one lifetime. Doesn't quite sound right. Let me lead you from your solitude. Yes. Say you need me with you here beside 
guide you, not quite. Anywhere you go, let me go too. Yes. Christine, that's all I ask of you. I don't think so. Christine, that's all I ask of you. I throw it back in there, and you can hear that instantly that makes the style appropriate. So that pitch bend, that vibrato that I add, you can hear stylistically and even emotionally make certain songs sound like what they need to be. Now, Miguel, you ask, can we learn it? Can we develop it? The answer is yes. We're going to start today with an exercise that does pitch bends. We're just going to take a slow one first and then a fast one. Here's the slow one. We're going to do with me this following exercise. So it's this. Me, 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 me. Hear that again? Me, 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 me. So we're going to be moving that top note around. So guys will be down here. Me, 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 me. Ladies up here. Me, 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 me. We're going to do this together. Here we go. So that me, that's a slow vibrato, but it's actually a kind of vibrato. Right now it's pretty wobbly, but it's going to set us up for the ability of moving those pitches. Now we're going to do a faster one. Same exact thing, but you're going to speed it up. Me, 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 me. Get that? Okay, and ladies? Me, 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 me. Right? So here we go together with a faster version of that pitch bend exercise. Me, 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 me. Great. Yep. Me, 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 me. Awesome. Some stuff. So I hope you can see why that would help you to start getting that vibrato, that pitch bend. It's just me. You can start finding how not just resting on a note but being able to move it around can start to develop your vibrato. So that's just stage one, Miguel. We're going to have more vibrato uh, exercises and ideas to come, but I hope that's been helpful for you guys today as singers in starting to see that you can develop vibrato if you have the right information and the right exercises. So if you guys have questions that you want to see us answer on the show, you can send an email to questions at voicelessonstotheworld.com. We just encourage you not to lose that joy, don't lose that passion, don't let people tell you you can't sing, don't let people tell you that you can't develop vibrato. Work hard at it, find a great voice teacher in your area that can help you. If you guys are in New York City, you can check us out at www.newyorkvocalcoaching.com. And if you like these videos, you can visit us at www.voicelessonstotheworld.com. I'm Justin Stoney, we'll see you next time.